Hi guys, welcome back to the uh, Greasy Spanner Cafe. Uh, this week we're going to be dropping the engine out and hopefully taking the sump cover off and investigating the two chains. What's at the bottom of the engine? Uh, first I'm going to have to remove the back wheel and then drop the bike down on the engine. So basically I can just lift in the frame and the front wheel away from the engine. If you get what I mean. So uh hope that makes sense. Let's get on with it. Okay then, I'm gonna Hello, doggy woggy. I am going to uh, drop the back wheel out, but first I think it's probably best to slacken off all the engine bolts. Might even take that one out. I'll pull that one out because it's going to be on the floor. So, let's get the spanners. Right then, hopefully you can see that. It's the nut on the other side of the bike. Yeah, because before we was on that side. There's the tripod. So we've got to try and undo that one. And so we've got the big wrench. Uh, see if we can locate it and do this with one hand. Okay, we're on there. Seems to be working. Get the ratchet out of the way, do it by hand. Call up all the bolts are this easy. Well you remember this bolt on the divvy. It was in there for bloody days. Had to cut it out with a little Dremel. Took about eight hours. So let's see if we can knock that through. Got my rubber hammer. See if we can push it through. going. Oh yes. Hopefully we can get it on the other side. Here we are on the other side. Let's see if we can get it out with the mold whips. Come on. Come on you bugger. Mold whips are about to slip. Come on. Come on there. Uh. Cool, this is hard work. Let me put a glove on because these more grips are hurting my delicate little hands. That's better. Come on. So let's uh, just slacken the rest off and get the back wheel out, drop it on the floor. So I think I'll get this out of the way first. Just crack them two and uh, take the side stand off. I can't remember if I told you before I uh, undone this bottom bolt, but uh, the nut is 17mm and the other end is 17mm as well. And these two are 14 mil. Okay, let's see how we get on with these two. Oh my god! Look at 
Look at that. Look at that, buddy. What have we done? I thought that was a decent tool. Oh my god. Okay, so let's try and get that out there and uh, find another extension. Okay, I'm back. I just put it in the vise and uh, tapped it out with a drift. Look at that. I thought that was a decent tool. Just goes to show you, doesn't it? Just that little knot. Snap that. Wow. Anyway, let's get another extension. Oh, yep, back in. That one. Hopefully this one will live up to its... Uh, what it's supposed to do. This one is a Cravanodum. What's my heart up? Try again, shall we? They're very tight. What if they've got Loctite on? They all like it. Resistance. So they've got Loctite on. What's that one? Oh my god, it's having a wee again. Dirty boy. Dirty, dirty, dirty boy. Stop it, stop it. I used to do that when I was at school. God, they're very rusty. I used to scare my mates that much that they'd weed themselves. I think I'm joking, don't you? Remember I had a rally runabout? Remember the rally runabouts? Riding down the street in the helmet with my mate sitting on the back on the petrol tank. Went to go round the corner and he got that scared he jumped off the back. He weed himself. He grazed all his legs on the number plate, what was just behind the petrol tank when he jumped off. Silly boy. And I turned the corner perfectly normal. Cool, I almost forgot. Sorry, Martin. At least one of you guys want to see underneath the rocker cover. So, there it is. I have noticed on this that some of the lobes are really nice and chromey and some of them are black. Like that one's definitely black. But you can see it. The cam chain doesn't seem loose at all. That's the uh, cam chain tensioner. With the four bolts, there. one bolt there, one bolt there, and one bolt there, and one bolt there. But I think there is a procedure you have to go through before you take that off. But I haven't got a manual as yet, so when I get a manual, you can just see it at the back, not the tension of it. But on these bikes, oh yeah, I've got to explain that as well, hang on. There's another guy who's not sure what I'm doing with the engines. So, I have one engine in the other shed, which has just apparently got a noisy cam chain. But the one's perfectly fine. And as you know, this one has got a really loud rattle, which is probably at the bottom because it's not this chain. So it's going to be either the oil pump chain or the, cam or the alternator chain. So that's what I'm doing now, I'm going to drop this engine out, take the sump off, investigate if it's one of those chains. I might 
be able to fix it because uh, the spark plugs on this were perfectly golden brown and the other engine it's quite common on these like say this tensioner down here it has got like a little bucket on the bottom of it which fills with oil and once the oil fills into it it cannot come back out so people who don't change the oil that often oil just turns into slud sludge slud the old slud just turns into slud yeah the oil just turns into sludge and then it goes odd and so your cam chain tensioner stops working on the chain so obviously when it's going round you get a loose spot on the chain and then it starts rattling so it's not always your cam chain well on the CBR it's not always the cam chain that needs replacing more than likely you've got to take this tensioner out and soak it in some petrol or paraffin or something for a few days to hopefully clear all the sludge out the bottom of it so it starts moving again but uh, I'll be able to explain that better when we actually get it out and you can see it so yes I'm going to be using one of these two engines I'm not getting another donor bike or anything like that because uh, don't have the money or the space. So anyway, let's get back to these undoing these bolts. Okay then let's slacken this top one off. Again it's 17 mil. Oh, 17 mil very tight. Very very tight. Come on you beauty, come on you're beautiful, come on, come on then, it's all going mad, the other side, yeah it's all going round now, let me get another spanner on the other side, let's put a 17 mil on this side as well, where are we going, we're going down, Hopefully we can trap that against something when we're going round. Let's go back to the ratchet. So, take the extension out. Might be a bit more easier. Here we go. Oh. Yes, it's going. Shall I give you a bit more light? There we go. Hopefully that's a better view. Don't keep it interesting, don't you? Give a good view. So that's that one slackened off. Uh, I'll leave the nut on it. There's a weird nut in there as well. I didn't see that. So that's what to think about when we put it back together. There's some sort of a spacer. Not seen anything like that before, but uh, it's going to be interesting when we put it back together, isn't it? So let's try another one. My uncle used to tell me when I used to build my push bikes. When you've got the push bike and you're building it, it says if you want your pro project to work nice and properly with no hiccups, you should always say good morning to it. So, good morning, Mr. CBR 1000F. How are you today? Oh, glad to hear it. That this is working right. I've actually put a torch on the side of my camera with an elastic band. Uh, got to undo this bolt it should be 14 mil and it is 
and then we've got to undo that bolt as well which is a 14 mil but uh, which way is it down or up it's up in it I'm not going to bother with that I'm just going to try it with this bolt side no, put the wrong socket on still got the 17 let's put the 14 mil on it off. Yeah, because it's going to catch on to that, isn't it? See, see what we can snap. Here we go. Come on. Something's happening. I'm not sure what. Feels like the bolt's gonna snap. It's all going round. Nope, it's not all going round. We're not staying still. side come on you son of a gun yep there's one bolt here going into the cylinder head right, let's try and do this one that one's nice Leave that in there. Go to the other side. Yes, look at this, look. Beautiful blue sky, roasting hot. And I'm stuck in my shed just for you guys. <laughs> I wonder what the temperature's gone up to. Just a fraction past 20. I guess this side seems the same. There's a bolt going into the cylinder head. And there's two bolts. 
one going into the cylinder and one going into the crank casing. Well, not going into it, this is bolted straight through. These, these are bolted straight through, but this one is bolted into the head. The other side was quite easy, so let's try this one first. Yes. Let's try these two. Can you see? Go down a bit. on the other side. We don't drop it first. Oh, that one seems a bit easier. Just take the nut off and leave the bolt in. Try this side. Oh, let's get comfortable. Oh. Okay, down a bit. And this one, still on the 14 mil bolts. Oh, baby. There's a nut and a washer on that one. Uh, there's a washer on that one as well. Okay then, welcome to the back wheel. As you can see, there's no nut on it. I think I can leave all that attached. Got to drop the wheel out, so it's uh, not the bolt through with a rubber hammer. Come round to the other side, see if we can pull it out. And there we go. The spacer goes on first. That spacer goes on second. Spock it don't look too bad. Remove the spanner first, shall we? Okay then, wish me luck. Hope if the front wheel stays going forward, you should be okay. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, go on. Oh. oh, that wasn't too bad. Still got all the same fingers and all the same toes. Okay then, let's get the rest of the engine bolts out. Okay, then, that one is quite loose. Wash it. Try and get this one out first. The trusty roll grips. It's in there nice and tight. Put a screwdriver on the what's it? Coming easier. Come on, you son of a gun.
we go. State of that. Uh, get that one out. And do this one. I think it's still got a fair way to drop. So I'd better put some wood under it or something to support it. Hang on, I'll be back in a minute. I couldn't really find any wood to chuck it up, so I'll put it on the plank. Get everything out of the way. What I'm going to do is slacken the forks off and then hopefully the front end will drop down. side that's an eight mil it's gonna be a ten mil yep here we go ten mil Yes, you know it makes sense. There then, the fork's going to drop down. Put you on there a minute. See if we can drop the forks down. about as far as they're going to go. Get it tangled up on my bloody microphone wire. I'm going to have to invest in one of these, what they're called, I don't know, microphones, what you don't use a wire for. So they're down as far as they can go. Are we on the floor now? Yeah, just about. So, yes, I think this video has gone on for long enough. Uh, going to be over an half an hour video I'm sure so <coughs> I'm going to call it quits today because this video has got to go up tonight or tomorrow because it's uh, Friday today so what I'm going to try and do is get this done tomorrow on Saturday get the sump out and have a look at everything and hopefully you will see that video on Sunday so this week you'll have a video hopefully on Saturday and a video on Sunday. Can't be bad can it? So anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, share, comment, please leave a thumbs up because they do count. And I'll see you tomorrow. Some of you may know who's been uh, watching my vlogs a while back. I did say that I'd never met my father. Uh, you know, I was born, and as soon as I was born, he left. But there's always been and there's always been one thing I've wanted to ask my father. And last night I had a dream that I was speaking with my father. And I says to him, Father, oh father, why can't I sell my motorcycles? And he says, because they're fucking crap. I see you in another light, brother.
Oh yes, and here's my favourite comment of the week. And if you uh, liked my rock guitar stuff, go and check this guy out. <laughs>